In this video, we'll tackle what is a void pointer and how can we use it and what's the difference between it and a char pointer. All right, so first things first, we need to create a problem that we can solve. Um, what I want here is, well, I have an array that I defined here and I want this array to be printed on the screen and I want to see it in hexadecimal uh, representation, right? So. To do this, it's very simple. Let's create a simple function and um, try to print it on the screen. Now, as you can see here, I created a function that what it does really, it takes in an array and the number of elements in that array and simply prints out each element of the array. Now, the way we print this out, it's actually a bit uh, complicated, so I'll get a bit into it. Um, here we say, all right, per percent %x says, all right, print um, it in hexadecimal format, print any uh, variable in hexadecimal format, and print it on eight characters, that's what this eight is for, and also, print zeros wherever you don't have anything to show. Don't just print empty spaces, right? If I try to run this, so if I try to first actually uh, call the function, so let's say array, and we have four elements in our array. If I try to run this, you'll notice that we get four, um, four sets of four bytes in here, right? Each, each pair of two digits is actually a byte because it's in hexadecimal uh, representation. So, if you noticed, uh, we get 16 in hexadecimal, that is 10, right? Then we get 31, 31 is 20 minus one in hexadecimal, and that's correct, we get one F, then 32 is just 20, then 65 is just 41. You can check that with a hexadecimal calculator. Now, what I want with this function is, what if I want, what if I have here long longs? So instead I have, simple long longs. Well, if I try to run this, I don't get the expected result. I only get still um, actually four pairs of four bytes, but I actually have 32 bytes since each long long has, six, has eight bytes and eight times four is 32, right? So this is actually 32 bytes. And what we're printing here is only, well, four times four, okay? Now I want a better version of this function. So, and I want it to be able to take in any sort of, any sort of variable, a long, long, a short, a, even a char uh, for just byte representation, anything and just print it on the screen and, and byte by byte print every single uh, part of the memory as hexadecimal representation, right? How can we do this? Well, that's actually very, very simple. In this case, we can actually use a void pointer. And a void pointer basically says, okay, you can give me a pointer to anything, right? Be it an int pointer, a long, long pointer, a short pointer, a struct of yours pointer, whatever it is. And I'm gonna try to make sense of it, right? Okay, and now, if I try to run this, or actually just compile it, you'll notice that we get an error and it says dereferencing void pointer. Why is that an issue? Well, R of I actually dereferences that pointer, right? It's like saying R plus I and then dereferencing it. Same thing. So since this is dereferencing it, and we're not allowed to really dereference a void pointer because by definition, we don't know what that is. But the key thing here is that we want that void pointer to be of size one when printed on the screen, right? So what can we do? We can actually dereference it before casting it to a char pointer, right? So we can say in parentheses, char pointer, R and then of I, right? So we're first 
casting it to a char, char pointer and then dereferencing it, right? Because we cannot dereference void pointers. Now, if I try to run this, well, you notice that we don't get the expected result. We just get, well, we get the 16 here because it's still 10 in um, base 16, which is nice, but we don't get all the other numbers. How can we do that? Well, first things first, we have to decide here what we're printing. Really, if we're printing just one single byte, that means we're printing two base 16 digits, right? So that means that we have to change this eight to a two, right? Another problem is when we're trying to send it the array, we're actually sending it n elements, right? But since it's a void pointer or a char pointer, char pointer of let's say three is actually the third byte. But remember, we actually have 32 bytes in here. Having 32 bytes in here means that we have to send 32 bytes here since this boils down to a void pointer, right? And pointer addition works on the level of the type it's referencing. You can check out a video up top that uh, I'm referencing. I talked about addition between pointers and what can you do with that. All right, so now that we know that we have to pass in 32 bytes here, well, we can say four, we can just say 32, but to be more specific, we can say simple four times size of, well, long, long, right? Because that's what we're uh, printing. So that's four times size of long, long is actually eight, right? We have 64 bits uh, in a single long, long. That means that we get 32 bytes in total. Now, if we try to run this, you'll notice that we get 32, 32 bytes in here. We can actually count it if you want, but there are 32 bytes here. And we're actually getting every single number here, albeit in a little Andean uh, representation. So here we have, for example, the 10, which is 16 in base 10. And then we have seven bytes. Remember the first byte is filled, seven bytes are zeros because there's nothing there. Then we have one F that's the 31. That's basically 20 minus one in base 16. Then we have the 32, which is 20. Then we have 65, which is, well, what do you know, 41. So we got basically the whole array printed on the console, which is amazing using this void pointer. Okay. Now what, what's the advantages between using a void pointer or just using a char pointer? Well, the advantages are pretty nice that at compile time, you get a few checks. Let's see what happens if I change this to a char pointer, because right, a char pointer is technically still a void pointer because a char is just one byte. Okay. But if we try to run it or just compile it, you'll notice that we get here a expected char pointer, but argument is of type long, long int pointer, right? And that's, that's what void pointers are about. They are about actually not giving us an error whenever we're trying to, um, passing it to a function and dereferencing them. So you have to, in this case, if it's a char pointer, you actually don't have to cast it, but that's kind of dangerous because, well, what if you don't want uh, to automatically cast it. You you don't know what the type is behind all this, right? So it's kind of strange. It will work, sure, but it's a little bit dangerous, right? And the compiler kind of protects us against ourselves from actually passing in a different type than it's uh, required, right? So that's what I want you to take from this video. Um, char pointers are pointers to just characters. But void pointers are actually pointers to anything, anything uh, you want to give it, be it an array of long longs, be it an array of shorts, being an array of ints, anything goes, as long as you cast it beforehand, right? If I try to run this, it's going to give me an, an error that I cannot actually dereference a void pointer. And that's correct because I first need to say, okay, well, first consider it a char pointer and then dereference it. So say like this and then like this. And if I try to run this now, it's correct. It gives me the expected result. 
So I hope you got this uh, out of the video and thank you for watching. See you guys next time.